A changing of the guard, the department saying goodbye to two veterans while welcoming new officers. As our Angela Rozier reports, the changes come as law enforcement agencies face challenges in recruiting. A bittersweet day here at the Port St. Lucie Police Department. Two officers retire after serving decades here in the city and two new officers take an oath to protect their community. Officer Jose Chaparro is ready to do the job. I've always had the desire to protect and serve, um, you know, to serve the community, given in today's standards, the way everything is going on now in the media and how law enforcement are perceived, it's great to go out there and show the community that not every law enforcement officer is bad. Chaparro and fellow officer Austin Souther were sworn in Tuesday morning. I want to be able to have that connection with the community and being able to work with them and hopefully make their city that they live in safer. The police chief made it official on the same day Officer Victor Garcia and Officer Billy Olson are retiring. Uh, so we're losing two, and then on the flip side, um, we just swore in two great new officers. And if you're new to law enforcement in Florida or you're coming from out of state, there's a $5,000 signing bonus plus moving expenses and other, other perks. The changing of the guard comes as law enforcement agencies face challenges in recruiting and national coverage of high profile killings that have put police under increased Gentlemen, scrutiny. In the secret to this job is never to get so emotionally compromised that you make bad judgment calls. And, and if everybody on scene is cognizant of that, it should be fine. And the police chief says they have filled the majority of their openings. They hope to have another swearing in in a few weeks. In Port St. Lucie, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.